In this picture, you'll see we have both bolted joints and welded joints, and they're right next to each other. What do you think the ratio of welded joints to bolted joints are? Is there two welded joints to one bolted joint? 10 welded joints to one bolted joint? Well, if you look here, we've got to have a welded joint in order to have a bolted joint, so we know it's one to one. And if you go look at ISO drawings and plants, you'll notice that there's probably a 30 to one ratio of welded joints to bolted joints, meaning there are 30 welded joints to one bolted joint. However, if you look at failure analysis, you'll notice that there's 30 bolted joint failures to every one welded joint failure. The reason for this is multiple reasons. Some of it is technology, but the majority of it is because of training. If you look at a welded joint, we give the welder proper materials, a proper education. They have certificates. Normally, they have to be tested into plants. We even give them a certain amount of PPE that they're supposed to have. But what do we do for bolted flange joints? We get a larger hammer, and we go find the nearest greenhorn or the nearest rookie in order to put it together. However, you have an individual who hasn't been trained as well and you don't have the proper materials. That's why we see a failure rate of 30 to one bolted joints versus welded joints.